Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. The Sanford Pottery Festival is open for business this weekend for its 10th anniversary. The show includes plenty of opportunities to purchase the products of some of North Carolina's most talented artists and maybe get a chance to spend some time with them. Here's a look at some of the activities from last year. There you go. That is going to be one neat looking squirrel. The Sanford Pottery Festival touts itself as North Carolina's largest. It is certainly growing into an impressive event. It began modestly in 2002. In recent years, it has bloomed into an event worthy of marking on the calendar, and not just for locals. I've stopped and asked them where they were from, the people who've come by here, and uh, they said we had a lot of people from Raleigh, Cary, Fayetteville, and several military families have come by. Thousands of visitors will get the chance to not only see and purchase pottery, but to meet the artists and in some cases even learn a thing or two about how their operations work. In the opinion of some, this festival is considered to be at the epicenter of the region's pottery tradition, one that goes back many years. Rosie Eugene and her husband Winton are regulars at the Sanford Pottery Festival. Their distinctive work has even been featured here, in spite of the fact they live in Cowpen, South Carolina. Anytime uh, you come from another state, especially South Carolina, and coming into North Carolina, uh, being a featured potter in North Carolina is an honor because uh, pottery is something that North Carolina is known for, uh, especially in the Seagrove area and the Sanford area. Y'all known for generations and generations and generations of potters. The Sanford Pottery Festival will feature more than 100 booths with well over 100 artists. It will also include a wine tasting event. More than a dozen local vineyards will bring their varieties under the big tent. Here you can sample the traditional sweet wines of North Carolina, as well as the drier European varieties that are now getting traction here. There's nothing like wine in Sanford. Wine, works of art, and good company at the Sanford Pottery Festival. I'm Rick Sullivan for North Carolina Weekend. The 10th Annual Sanford Pottery Festival runs Saturday 9 to 6 and Sunday 10 to 6, this weekend at the Wicker Civic Center in Sanford. Tickets to the Pottery Festival are $5. Children under 14 get in free. For more information, go to sanfordpottery.org. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.